Sabrina Masialis from the long line of Masialis uh, fencing greats. Uh, Sabrina, uh, finals, finals result today, you come away with second. Uh, how'd you feel about that finals bout? Uh, well, I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to win, of, of course, um, and I um, have a very good idea of how to fence Margaret. Like, we fence many times and we train together sometimes. So I really wanted to win, but um, I'm still happy with the silver. Um, it's still a good result. So. And you talk about your familiarity with, with Margaret. Uh, also with, with, you know, Nicole Ross was up there. It's, it's a pretty seasoned group. You come away today second. How does this impact your, uh, you know, your team standings? Well, I'm, I don't really know like the points and um, like how well I have to do or like she has to do. I'm not really good with that stuff. I kind of leave that to my dad. And like in Algeria, I remember like I asked like someone else to do it for me, like to try to like do the math. And I, I'm not really good at that stuff, but um, I think I'm in like a decent position right now. I just have to keep it up and like do well in Havana. And you talked about Al Algeria, another another great result for you. Yeah. Your first top 16 finish yeah. ever. H how does that compare to the feeling today? Um, I think I was more excited with my top 16 in Algeria because I beat this girl, Koro Benikova from Russia from, to make the 32 and it was like a really big upset. And I was so excited with that. And then I ended up um, winning my second bout and I've like never done so well in um, a senior international before. So it was really exciting for me. Like I've made the finals and at like NACs and stuff for seniors, but international is just like a whole new level of difficulty. So I was so excited. <laughs> so when you knew you were, you were finally breaking that ceiling, moving from the 32 to the 16, what were you thinking? Were you thinking you could go all the way? All the way, like winning? Yeah, all the way to winning or uh, past the 16. I didn't really think that far ahead. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to focus on like the bouts ahead of me or like the bout that I'm doing at like in the moment. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and and you know, talking today about about you know second place and and uh, it's a great finish, but you know a little disappointed. You're still smiling and, and bubbling. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're you're a personality that that one can find always smiling. Uh, Is that yeah, true? yeah. I I don't know. I just find it hard to talk without smiling. I'm just like a really ha I guess I'm just a happy person. Um, sometimes I like smile so much I can't really enunciate my words because like my face is all like this. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And um, you know, outside outside of fencing, you're also a, a very successful uh, volleyball player and, and you also are on your, your badminton team. Tell us about your success on, on the court. Well, for volleyball, I've been on varsity, a starting varsity player ever since I was a freshman. That's really exciting. And this year, as well as last year, I was, um, the captain, so that was really exciting too. And I w made first team all league um, last year and this year, so that was cool. And in badminton, I'm like a little less involved in badminton, but I'm still on the team. Um, and it's badminton season right now, actually. And uh, I've been, we only have varsity, so I've been on varsity, but I've been a starting player ever since I was a freshman, so that's really fun too. And have you ever entertained thoughts about, it, instead of pursuing fencing in college, playing volleyball? Well, if I weren't a fencer, I would definitely try to go to college for volleyball because I love volleyball. And I'm a little sad that I have to let go of it because I'm going to college and I have to like devote all my time to fencing now. But like, it's okay. Um, yeah, I thought about like maybe I could continue it at Notre Dame, but I'm definitely not good enough to play on their team. And it's like way too demanding. And then the club team, like they also have practices every day and travel, so I can't do that. And intramural, I was just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll just let it go. <laughs> Kind of finally have to walk away from from your time yeah, on the volleyball court. Yeah, unfortunately, but it's okay. <laughs> outside outside of you know volleyball, badminton, fencing, what what do you do to try and get away from the the grind of athletics? Um. Well, I like to go on lots of walks. I have like a special walk I do at home, and I always do that. Um, I like to go to the, this bookstore. Like I don't have that much time to read, but I really like to read. And I don't even read that much, but I just like it. Um, and I, there's this bookstore that's like super cute. And I just like looking at the books there. Um, I like pre I like to pretend I play the guitar and the ukulele, but I really don't. Um, I just like 
Google how to play songs and like try to figure it out, but it, I don't actually play it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, perhaps in the next interview with On Point Fencing, it can be one where, uh, you know, you're playing for us. <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then we'll just stick to fencing for the time yeah. being. Well, thanks. Thanks for your time today. Congrats again thank and uh, best of luck in Havana. Okay. Thank you.